and welcome back Fiber Addicts to another episode of Travis Does Fiber. Today I'll show you how I burn weeds. Yeah, so I didn't have an episode for you um, on Wednesday. Uh, sorry about that. I was outside busy and I... You've seen, if you watch my channel enough, you'll see me going up and down my driveway. This is this hillside to, to go from my front yard to the back of my yard. And there's been this like greenery of weeds on this conk, on this um, uh, gravel um, pathway, roadway, driveway, whatever you want to call it, for the whole summer. And it looks like hell. And the fall, like, it's going to rain like starting tomorrow. Like fall is here, folks. Fall is here and I can't do what I do my process when it's wet out so um yeah I I like to burn weeds burn weeds when I'm on it's uh, was on gravel I burn them so I'm, I'll explain why I'll explain how I do it now burning weeds has nothing to do with firewood um, I'm bringing this up because I posted about it and a few people responded like, hey, like, sh share with us what you do. So I want to share with you as well as if you're into firewood, you probably like burning things. You may not be a pyromaniac. Maybe you are. That's cool. Yeah, fine. But you like, I'm sure you like f to make fires. You like to burn things. You may not burn down houses, but you like to burn things. So uh, it kind of relates to firewood. So anyway, this is an idea. I'm gonna do this and see where it goes. But today we're gonna be burning things. So first, what I do is when I have weeds and we have, I have a dry day out, I pick up a one gallon jugs of white vinegar. Okay. Um, I don't like to use weed killer chemicals. My, I live near pets. I have young children. It's just I don't want to get into not using or using it, it's just what I do. Okay, so this is this is my process. I'm sharing you with you my process. I I um buy several boxes. I buy I bought this time around I bought eleven boxes. Each box has two one gallon jugs of white vinegar and that's what I use in my sprayer. So I buy those boxes of vinegar from Costco. If you're not near Costco, you're near maybe a Winco. I don't I don't know if you have Winco where you live but Anyway, fine bulk white vinegar. This is, yeah, vinegar. Um, then I go to the dollar store and I buy a bunch of these dish soap, cheap dish soap, um, to, and I just pour the whole thing in the sprayer. So the sprayer, this this is my sprayer. I actually, I, I broke it, but this is a sprayer, Harper Freight a Special. Um, nothing too fancy. Just pour the, the vinegar in here. You have you have your your crank. To give your pressure, um, I think I put uh, like three and a half one gallon jugs in this. I think it holds four. And then I put one of these in here. That's one of these soap dishes in here. That's between 30 to 50 fluid ounces of this soap in here prior to the, 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 the vinegar. So one soap, uh, three to three, three, 3.5 gallons of the vinegar. And in that order, the soap is supposed to help adhere to the weeds. Um, growing up, my dad used to have me put in um, used um, a motor oil, not a lot, um, but a little bit, and that would help to um, keep the vinegar or the weed killer spray on the weeds. I don't want to put motor oil um, on my gravel. I just, I'd rather just put soap. I just buy a, a few of these and I call it good, right? Um, but be, be warned, the Harbor Freight things are kind of finicky. Clean these out when you're done, as well as don't hit it against the logs. Um, I got a hole in it. Where's the hole? The hole. Here it is. Yeah. I hit this thing. I set it down and I hit it at the, 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 at the logs over there, and I got a hole in it. So now this thing is ruined. But I think I have one where um, this, this is okay, but the guts are bad so i'm gonna swap it if i can because these are kind of i don't know they're like 25 35 40 bucks a sprayer i don't know anyway i do that i spray all along here very very liberal spray of all the weeds get it nice and soaked the ones that are like bigger 
I'll give them a, a nice dousing of vinegar and um, the soap mix. I do that, and the next day, I swear, the next day, it turns like this. A light brown starting to die, okay? It's not all the way dead, but it has this like death look to it, right? Um, you can see over here too. So yes, I've had been burning, but I haven't been burning I, only like like the one hour at a time type thing, you know. So 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 these big ones are kind of like like a wilted, but there's still kind of like some there's some there's some green to it. Now, people may be asking Travis, just pull the weeds. Well, I can do that, but that takes it's I think it's faster to kill them versus to pull them. And I have so many of these weeds. To, I mean, this whole hillside was just, where you see black. It was me burning. That's 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 dead. I mean, I hope it's dead. Dead weeds that were growing in my gravel. And it's a lot of weeds to take out. That that will that and if I pull them out, I feel that then I that the roots will, will bring up soil, and I don't want soil on my gravel. So that's why. Um. So the next day. It is dead. You see it over here too. It's still dead here. It's that nice brown color here. And then when it turns brown is when you can burn it. Now now you're asking yourselves, Travis, what are you talking about burning burning? How do you how do you burning weeds? What do you what? I'll show you. Alright, so what I have is a propane torch. Okay. This is a pro set up long hose in the connector piece this is um i'm buying this from my dad he used this in construction more or less uh, for using for roofing for, for torch down so it's a pro grade um torch magnum i think the brand is doesn't matter um upper freight does sell these um one with the clicker button to ignite it one without um i've tried this before the one with the button that will ignite it it breaks uh, you know so i uh, get the warranty on if you want to or if not um i think they're worth the money but i just have this one here and i've been borrowing it so and i, I like the long hose um i connect them to deeper pain tanks that you would use for your barbecue now what i have found so this is the normal size i don't know this is what the five gallon i don't know they call them gallons i forget anyway with these these puppies here um one just be safe make sure that you're it's you're just you get this new newer screw on make sure that because it's gonna be probably brass don't crank on it just enough if you want to use soapy water to spray on here make sure there's no bubbles do that too if, if you have short hose um and i found that don't turn it upside down keep them upright if they're upside down it's just it's, that's a no-no right um when you're using them for burning the outside will get frosty so just be careful of that as well as when these are full um when you're burning it's good for about half of it after a half you don't get enough pressure coming out of, of the gun and it's almost not worth your time okay to burn um that's just from burning i've, I've burned my driveway my neighbor's driveway for for uh, for a while um, I don't know if there's any local laws against this. I had a neighbor come to me yelling at me because it was really dry out that I wanted to burn down the whole neighborhood and she wasn't uh, Anyway, she was one of those old cat ladies. Anyway um, Just be safe when you're doing this But anyway, what I found was you if you if you get below the half point, you're not getting enough pressure So I have several of these tanks That I I use when I'm going to be to be burning, right? <clears throat> Now, some of those tanks will, you might, you, you, may, you may be thinking to yourself, Travis, I can't afford 60 times how many tanks because a new tank is $60 with the local store. Folks, here's what you do. Here's the pro tip of what you do. You find tanks that are expired, okay? Go around your neighbors or go to your buy nothing group or on Craigslist, find expired tanks. They probably people don't want them because they can't use them. You can probably get them for free or five dollars. Take that tank to the local hardware store, the local pharmacy, um, wherever they have like the Blue Rhino brand or the American brand where you train them in. Use your tank that's expired. Go to the local store and get a new tank. Come on, plane. A 
few moments later to trade in okay so get yourself a new tank because uh, because and then once you have a new tank do not go to exchange it find a place local gas station wherever they 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 ha they have available to refill these tanks my opinion is cheaper to refill tanks um, rather than having to exchange them right um, but they won't refill a tank if it's expired there's numbers on the handle whatever whatever uh, to to figure it out if it's expired or not if they refuse to refill it just trade it in for a new tank and then keep having and and they keep having to refill that tank I have about five of these or six that are within not being expired that I use for burning and or my my and my grills because again like I said before if I get down to about halfway it's done enough pressure to actually burn the weeds okay so that's the pro tip that's 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 my process don't spend sixty dollars on a new on a new tank find one that's expired traded in because it's then because then it's going to be like 35 or 40 versus 60 so save yourself some money and get a few of them but um just be be safe with this okay now i'm going to get in the safety gear all right <clears throat> so uh, what to wear i'm wearing my steel toe boots i have, have long pants and uh, you don't want to wear shorts I, ideally i would say you want to wear a long sleeve shirt because of sparks now when i'm going over the rocks i don't want to overheat the rocks to have them because they'll pop they'll pop up at, at, at you so safety is important you don't want a a hot flaming rock hit hit you in the face or arm or whatever else so i'm gonna get the hot outside i'm gonna wear a short sleeve but i'm doing this kind of like like a welding you don't want anyway yeah you you, you, you get it boots are good don't do this in sandals that's, that doesn't make any sense now when you have the flame on and you're you have the trigger on and, and on a little gentle with i use i use my pinky when i'm doing this um it sounds like a jet engine it's loud so you want to protect your hearing i got um ear earbud ear protection first and then i like to use um my helmet and visor because you don't know this where the sparks are coming from they're going to come from different angles matched with um safety goggles so safety goggles um a visor and then i have the ear muffs too for more protection of your ears because it's gonna be loud and you want to make sure that you're not going to get anything in the face that would suck um gloves are also important um I actually got these gloves from a good buddy, uh, Jay Andre, over at Old Old Iron Acres. A good channel. He actually um, sent uh, me a pair and my my little helper, my my daughter. Um, these are um, Stealth Phoenix um, size um, or type of gloves. He swears by these gloves. These are his go-to. I'll leave a link down in the description if you are interested in these gloves, but I'll try these out for the first time. But anyway, safety is important. So let's get geared up and I'll show you my process. So if you got a hose connector like this, I like to put a, like a, um, a a hose, like a rubber hose over it. Because these brass thing, things will, you mess up these threads, you're screwed. So you take that off in your pocket. Backwards thread. That's, that's just snug, just snug on here. And then I use a barbecue lighter for this. Um, if you buy one from Harbor Freight that has the, the trigger or the, the little button, um, I guess you don't have to worry about that. Um, so then after this, I will turn on full blast, these for pain. And then at the handle here, I think most of these have this, they have this handle of how much gas comes out through. I just turn it a little bit, just a little bit tat, just a little bit and on. And then from there, I'll take my rubber bracket lighter and I'll light it at the tip, like this. And then uh, we'll be off to the races. I had another episode on, on doing this, and, and this is before I actually had got like 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 like, like a real channel um, on firewood or anything. And um, I, I, because I dabbled in YouTube before prior to this firewood channel, um, but I did one on burning, and I didn't didn't do very well but i could try to link it above here if, if you're interested in that it will take more in depth but this would be like like a current version now i'm giving you all like my pro tips of 
what I've learned over the years of doing this. Um, yeah. So you saw a lot of burning and I could have gone gone a bit longer um, with propane, but this tank is, is below half and it's not putting out enough force, in my opinion, to make it worth my time. I, I need to fill my tanks, but just I want to just give you the gist of what I'm doing. Um, some more talking than I would like to, but I just it was all the all the pro tips, right? A lesson learned. Things to think about when you do burn, just be careful, have water on hand, make sure you're not going to burn any trees or shrubs that you don't want to burn. Um, as well as when the first few days after you burn, it smells terrible. It smells like, like Hades. It, it's, it's, it's not a, a pleasant smell. That in, similar to the, the vinegar, also does not smell very good. So, to keep that in mind, this, this is just my process, this is what I do, or try to do. And I use weed killer, I want to 
I like to, I mean, you can, you can burn green um, weeds for sure, but I find it, 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 it's more effective to use the vinegar treatment first, wait a day, and when, when they're brown, then burn them. Um, I'll probably pull a few of these too, just, I, but I like to have it be dead and gone. Um, yes, it, this, with, with pure vinegar, it doesn't get all of them, but, but, but I think with the, with, the, with the torch, it does get down to the root sometimes, especially if you're on it. Um, I don't go over, I don't stay on one spot for a long time because I don't want the rocks to heat up and, 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 and break apart and shoot at me. So just kind of even, even, even uh, stripes. But anyway, um, I, this is some different, some, some interesting. I hope that you they find this, in, this, I hope that you found this informative. Uh, until next time, uh, less short to be pricks. So say I know one another, um, rock and roll, keep cutting, um, stay safe. Cheers.